accidentals include sharps, flats, and naturals. A sharp raises a note one semitone. A flat lowers a note one semitone. And a natural cancels sharps and flats. Let's watch the sharps going up the keyboard. C goes up to C sharp, D to D sharp, E to E sharp. Hey, E sharp is a white key. F to F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp. Now let's watch the flats going down the piano keys. B goes down to B flat, A to A flat, G to G flat, F to F flat. Hey, F flat is a white key too. E to E flat, and D to D flat. Naturals cancel sharps and flats. Here's a D flat, and it's cancelled by a D natural. Here's an F sharp, and we cancel it with an F natural. Here's a C, and we'll move it up a semitone to C sharp. Let's draw it in the treble clef. But first, you need to know a couple rules. Number one. Accidentals are placed in front of notes and on the same line or space. And number two, accidentals are placed after the letter name. So we can have two names for the same key. That's called enharmonic. Can you think of two names for this black key? Well, we could call it D sharp. Or we could call it E flat. Those are called enharmonic notes. Here's another example. We could call this key G sharp, or we could call it A flat. Let's practice a little bit more and learn a few more rules. Here's an E flat, and this is C sharp. Now, the E flat carries through for the entire measure, so this note is still E flat. And the C sharp has been cancelled by a C natural. Bar lines can cancel accidentals too, so this next note is just E. And then D flat. Accidentals only apply to the notes on that line or space, so the last note is just a D, not a D flat. <laughs>